So today I'm going to describe how to create a new PCM 600 project from scratch. This assumes that you already have PCM 600 installed and we're going to start from there where we'll open up the application and create a substation structure. Here I'm opening up PCM 600 Engineering Pro. Okay, so the application is opened. I'm going to come up here to File, select New Project. I'm going to select a name for the new project. I'll just start out with Test 1. Here we can actually put a description as well, but at this present time I'm just going to create and not add a description. Okay. So, we have a file started. I'll come here to Project Explorer. You can see that the plant structure here on the left has the name of test one as I put into the file name. I'm going to right click and you can see that there's a new menu that pops up and I'll select new. Go down to general, select substation. That adds it to my plant structure tree. I'm going to right click again on substation, go to new, general, left click on voltage level, right click on voltage level, go to new, general, bay, I'm going to right click on bay, go to new. Now at this point I can add whatever IED I want to to the plant structure. At this point in time, I'm just going to add a REF615 distribution relay, and I'll left click on REF615. From here, I need to select if I have the relay that's online or an offline configuration. Currently, I'm not connected to a relay, so I'm going to do an offline configuration right here. You'll see, I'll click Next. The only IED protocol that we can select is IEC 61850, so I'll leave that alone. Click Next. Now I can decide whether I want to configure this port or this IED through the front port or the rear port. For the time being, I'll just select front port and select Next. It says now my communication configuration is now defined. That's fine. I'll go ahead and click Next. At this point in time, you need to know what your the style or order code is for your relay. I'm going to come down and select, make a couple different selections. Um, here we'll say that it's a directional phase and ground overcurrent relay with voltage and frequency protection. So I'll select that. I'll select here that we have 14 binary inputs and 9 binary outputs with 3 high speed outputs. And then I'll also select a communication and the arc protection that we're going to need for this relay. For the time being, I'll just select the 10 100 base T and the RS232 slash 45 with an ST connection. English is fine. We'll have a large LCD display. Option one, we're going to select that it does have reclosing. And option two, we'll say that it has a cable fault detection built into the style number. Here we also need to select on power supply whether it's a 24 to 60 volt DC or it's a combination 48 to 250 volt DC, 48 to 40 AC. That's the selection we'll, we'll choose at this point in time. And it is a version 4.0, the, the firmware version. At this point in time, I'm going to come up to the right hand side of this configuration page and select generate. The IED will now be creating all the 61850 and the utilizing the connectivity packages that are built in with the REF615. You can see now that the function is generated completely and that I, at this point I can 
select close, but I want before I do, I want you to notice that the REF 615 is created in our plant structure here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and select close. You'll see that the screen came back up and that our style number is now non-selectable. Everything is grayed out. At this point, we're going to select next. It will tell us our order code here on the bottom and the base IP address that is configured for our front port. Here I'll select finish. And it tells us before we can actually connect to the IED, we're going to have to change the technical key. This will actually be demonstrated in a further presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and select next and we are complete. At this point in time, we have a project built from scratch on the left hand side in the plant structure. Please stay tuned for further videos on how to do other configurations, make different changes within the PCM software. Thank you.